Hello and welcome to Oberon Biofeedback Software. In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of our software and what it is capable of, and some of the features that we consider to be main features and focuses in our software, which will hopefully help you understand whether or not Oberon is what you're looking for. So first and foremost, my name is Diana Brown. I'm the head trainer at Oberon Biofeedback. And a lot of the training that we do together is going to look exactly like this. So if you are going to buy an Oberon system, our training and training videos would be just like this, where you would be hearing my voice and seeing the screen and following along as I do certain processes. Also, personal training is like this as well, except for we will be having a conversation either over the phone or in Skype. So either way, this is a great way for us to ever really get connected if you have questions or need something or looking at a scan that isn't very clear. Uh, this is a great way for us to connect and go over things together. So first of all, when we open the software, we're here at the card index page where we can see sort of a list of what's been scanned, what's been done, and then also select another card of a patient or create a new card for a patient or client or for yourself. And even though this may look like information that isn't needed or how to use this, a lot of those types of questions are going to be answered in training. But what I want to point, point out is that the search feature makes it really easy for us to check progress or to find organs and tissues that we've scanned quickly. So if I have the intestine scan, say, 10 days in a row, I would be able to find it quickly in the search box and compare each scan to each other to see if the changes or if any changes have happened over the last 10 days. So having features like this where you're able to customize the software are really helpful because everyone uses the software very differently and not everyone has a practice. Some people use the system in their home. Some people use it as a business or in a practice. So it really helps to customize this list and really the look of the software to be exactly what you want it to be and for the purpose that you would want it to serve. When we talk about scanning, so in our software, we have about 846 organs to scan, organs, tissues, cells, DNA. For male and female, that list changes slightly due to the differences in the reproductive system, but everything else is going to stay the same, and the list is just as large for female and male uh, scans. We can also search anything that we want right here in the search box, which again is really helpful when we need to find something quickly. We also have the opportunity to do scans by system. So instead of doing a full body scan, you can select a single system to scan at a time. And this is really helpful when you are focusing on treating a specific system. In order to treat something, you've got to have it scanned. And so allowing sort of for only system scans really helps to make the best use of our time and not spend so time clicking on different areas or looking and searching for what we need. When scans are complete, we have an option here to give automatic therapy to all the areas scanned. We can select either one time or five times for each of the organs to receive therapy. Typically when a scan is complete, we are going to create a list of notes to know and to have for the patient and to keep track of progress. These notes can be automatically created with our automatic report feature, which takes all of the scans into consideration and builds a report of all of the findings using the database. So you really don't have to make notes manually. You can have the system, the Oberon software, create a list of notes for you just like this. So report options look differently as well. So you can see here that in the digestive system, these pathologies were found and microorganisms were found, respiratory, blood and lymph, and cardiovascular. So there are certain things that will be in the notes based on the finding, which really helps us understand what to focus on right away and have a specific focus rather than doing tons of therapies on areas with, that are randomly selected. Report three is also a good option because it gives us a printout also with photos if, if chosen. We can also add pictures to this report, which will make it a little bit easier to find specific things. So here, for example, we can see that H. pylori is at this specific coefficient microorganism in the stomach. The other views or really reports that you can make are also some of these that are coming up as generic. You can also choose to print or save these reports. All reports can be printed or saved to your computer. 
into a file PDF or Word document. We can also give printouts of more general information in order to avoid any possible liability. The report gives a clear description of what was scanned, the date that it was scanned, the energy levels for each organ and tissue, the KODs, which are the cellular level functions, and then also any therapies or any other activity that was taking place in the system. So not only are the scans recorded, but the therapies are recorded. Anything that you do in the system that's important to remember is going to be automatically recorded into your notes. So this one is really great to give to somebody because it doesn't have any information of any sort of diagnosis or treatments, uh, anything like that. It just gives them exactly what was scanned that day and the general information, which is really important information that they can then also track themselves. So there are quite a few different note options here. I also want to point out that our software is very extensive and the list of topics that we have here are very, very long. So we typically would focus on microorganisms, pathology, <clears throat> allergens, really the top 10 in the list are going to be our focus, but there are many other professionals who use many other topics and have a wide variety of interests. For example, um, some people are interested in emotional matrices and vitamin tables, and meridians and fears, uh, funguses. So you, there are really a lot of options for maybe a certain field that you're interested in and want to investigate how it affects an organ or tissue. You can always type something in in the search box and then just see what the software has because it's so extensive there are over 10,000 list of topics that we have in our system and each small check mark like this opens up and then there are even more so if you are interested in something specific we can help you find it and and really explain how to use it best once we've covered these basic uh, topics that we always want to start with so in terms of therapies, we have a phytotherapy, stone therapy. So phytotherapy is frequencies of plants, of different therapeutic plants. So you can click on the picture of that plant and give the plant therapy to the organ rather than the really main therapy, which is the meta therapy. And I'll show you where that is. So Plant therapy is one. We also have stone therapy, which also has frequencies of therapeutic stones. There are people who work in biofeedback who really love these frequencies for therapy, which is great. We also have a physiotherapy, which is more of a light and a rehabilitation therapy. So it's very different um, than the metatherapy. It can be used in any order, depending on what is found and what is needed to be treated. And again, we go over how to use this in, uh, in training. And then when I mentioned the meta therapy, so the therapy here, this is going to be meta therapy and we have protective and destructive. So organs will get protective therapy, which means that they will get a frequency that is a healthy organ frequency to the organ itself until it transforms. And destructive therapy inverses a frequency of a parasite or a microorganism and then sends that frequency directly back to the organ or the tissue where the microorganism is found throughout the body. And so that is more of a rife frequency therapy, but in a much gentler uh, frequency. The other thing that the software can do is create remedies. So if you ever found a microorganism or a pathology that needs to be addressed, you can create a remedy just using that frequency. So it would be really exactly what the person needs. And the way we would do that is we take that frequency. So let's say that there's a cyst in the ovary. We can take that frequency and invert it. So essentially balance it out and then write this frequency into a bottle of water. Um, a, a small dropper bottle. You can also add 10% alcohol to keep the uh, remedy strong for longer periods of time. So remedy preparation is a really big tool as well in our software. All of these other features that are here, they're all instrumental to analysis to really analyzing the information and also because we have the automatic notes feature a lot of these buttons aren't utilized anymore because everyone decides to go for the automatic notes feature rather than manually selecting and checking all of the areas that we're looking at 
So again, the software is really flexible in terms of how you would want to use it and what you're looking to accomplish if you're focusing on only therapies or if you're focusing on only analysis or if you're doing everything just using our Oberon software. You can utilize it in a lot of different ways and we can help you to make sure that you're doing that as best um, as you need to. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. There is some helpful information on our website as well. And if you have any questions at any time, feel free to send us an email or just reach out to us on our website.